Look at these scenes of anarchy. Riot police clearly outnumbered angry residents. Why are you so angry? And people are throwing bottles at them, and it is a very tense scene that is playing out here. Pure anger being hurled by the demonstrators at riot police that are now retreating and warning that they could fire tear gas. And this is the ninth weekend of protests and confrontation in the streets of this former British colony. But Confrontations that so, show no signs of letting up. Ivan Watson, CNN, Hong Kong. Well, I feel very strongly that people in this country and actually, you know, the world need protection. I'm a big Second Amendment person. I feel very strongly about the Second Amendment. They're not going to screw around with the Second Amendment. At the moment, if you're on the no-fly list, you can buy a firearm. Does that need to be fixed? Well, I'd certainly uh, take a look at it. I would. I'm very strong into the whole thing with Second Amendment. But if you can't fly, and if you've got some really bad, I would certainly look at that very hard. I will get rid of gun-free zones on schools, and you have to. But I'm not advocating guns in classroom. But remember, in some cases, and a lot of people have made this case, teachers should be able to have guns, trained teachers. I recently, I recently signed, signed legislation that includes more than $2 billion to improve school safety, including the funding for training and metal detectors and security and mental health. We strongly believe in allowing highly trained teachers to carry concealed weapons. They're highly trained. But in 2000, you wrote in your book, I generally oppose gun control, but I support the ban on assault weapons. I don't support it anymore. I do not support the ban on assault. He, he's a sick, demented, Man, the wires are screwed up, but uh, there might be something there. I think that uh, mental health is your problem here. This was a very, based on preliminary reports, very deranged individual. We are committed to working with state and local leaders to help secure our schools and tackle the difficult issue of mental health. And just a few moments ago, I signed a memorandum directing the Attorney General to propose regulations to ban all devices that turn legal weapons into machine guns.